chat gpt passive income hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is mandeep and in today's video we are going to build one api using chat gpt and we are going to sell it on rapid api platform people who are not aware about rapid api rapid api is a platform where developers uh, develop and uh, build their api and then deploy on this platform and then they sell it they get uh, you know recurring revenue for their api so just an uh, example let me show one of the api so you can see like any particular requirement and here we are checking an api for the qr code and you can see all of the detail about this particular api so endpoints about tutorials and pricing so for example for this particular api uh, this these are the different plans basic pro and ultra and so and these are the pricing so <clears throat> So user for this API can choose the plan accordingly and um, they can pay to the uh, creator of this API. So the similar way we are going to create one API and we are going to deploy it on uh, this rapid API platform. And we are going to create our API using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a really powerful tool. So here is, the, this is the ChatGPT. People who are not aware about ChatGPT is a chatbot, which is released by op OpenAI and it has really powerful uh, uh, features. You ask anything and it can do uh, for you so let's get started with today's exercise very first of all so let's say we are going to generate an uh, api we are going to create an api uh, for this qr code generator assume that we we want an api for the qr code generator so so for this uh what you need to type something like this code for python flask api server that take the get request with url as a string and convert it to the qr code image and send it back as api response so once you ask this question and uh, you can see chat gpt will start generating the code for it and here you can so uh now the code generation part is complete what we are going to do is we are going to basically copy this code and what we are going to do and we are going to paste into our this particular editor we can use any editor for it here we are using the uh, vs code editor so once we uh, paste this code now the code is pasted uh, once we paste this code what we can do is we can go to uh, our command prompt and we can run this particular file uh, this file is qr.py so let me run it so for that we can what we can do is python qr.py so now my server is running and after this what we can do is for this we can go here and when we generated this code you can see that uh, this chat gpt has given us this url as to test our api so what this api will do this api will generate a qr code and it will download it as a file so for this to test this what we can do is since our code is running at 5000 and this is my uh, you know query parameter qr code and this is the particular url you can pass any url here and you can see that once i hit on this url now this qr code is generated so you can see that this is the QR code uh, generated. So if I change the URL here again, earlier it was example.com. Now, uh, now I have changed this to google.com. So if I hit here and you can see that my another image is generated. And if I open it, you can see that this is generating my uh, QR code. Now, once this part is done, what we can do is we need to deploy this to some cloud, this API. So to deploy this in onto some cloud we are going to use this python anywhere.com so if you have not created an account on this you can create on this platform and once you create an account on this what you can do is you will go to the uh this particular page the home page and you can click on open web tab do this add new web app <coughs> the next and select the server web framework because we are using python you can check the python version as well and then next 
Now, once you do this, after this, you need to scroll down and go to this option. Um, go to directory, click on this. Open this file, flask app.py. And now, copy the code from your editor. So this is the complete code and copy this and you can select it and paste here. So once you, uh, now you can save this file. Once you save this, now, now once you save this file, click on here, this option, my site, and then click on web. Now, after reloading our server, you can click here. Uh, sorry, what we need to do is we need to open it in new tab, open the, it in new tab. Now, after opening this, uh, you can see that it is giving me some error. Now, this error is because we do not have set up the base URL or the home URL for our, our app. We can ignore this for this time. Do this URL. And so here, what we can do is we can take this URL and now if I enter here, you can see that now it has downloaded the file and this is from this URL, curvemanlive0pythonanywhere.com and this is the para parameter and this is the URL. So if I change it to some another URL, it will download one more uh, URL code for me. So now my code is working and it has been deployed on pythonanywhere.com. Now our API is live and working. Now it's time to publish our API onto the Rapid API platform. So for that, uh, again, you need to, uh, if you have not created an account on this platform, first you need to create an. Now, once you come here and then you can click on my APIs. Once you click on my APIs, a new page will load and you can create an add API project here. Now, after adding details over this page, we can move to the next page. After this, we need to go to hub listing. Now this thing uh, here, we can fill few details. This is optional. This is documentation is optional. Website is again optional. All these things are the optional. And here you can, we can see that I confirm and I confirm. Never. Now copy the URL of our API, which was this one. This was the, our base URL. So for this base URL, what we can do is we can go to go to here and we can add this base URL here. You can see that add base URL here. Now this is my base URL. After clicking on endpoints, we can click on create rest endpoint and then we can add the endpoint detail here. Now here we can add the endpoint and we can give the name QR code endpoint. And this is my QR code endpoint. And I can enter this as base URL. And here we can add the uh, parameters. Now, parameter is my url in our case it is url now after this what we can do is we can save it yes now after clicking this what we can do is we can click on this your this link view in hub once we click on this will be our testing area once we click on uh, view in hub it will give me the you know the testing area where we can test our we can click on test endpoint and we can check our API is working or not. You can see that now uh, the response has been received 200 OK and it has given me a QR code as well, QR code image as well. So that means our API is working here. Now coming back to this and we can click on monetize option. Now here we can set our details as per as per our requirement like how many in how many rupees or dollars what we uh, we want to sell this api just add all these details and we now we can add pricing over here first of all let me do the basic pricing here and here you can see that plan type is monthly subscription or switching plan will cause you to rewrite all of the objects uh, sorry uh, from here we can set the limit like how uh, how we want to 
control the traffic on our API. So let's say I'm saying that in, under this plan, you will get 10 requests per hour and a subscription price raise is, let's say I keep it as $10. Now, after this, we can save these changes. Now save these changes. Now you can see that it is showing me that $10 per month. And the same way, let's say I add another plan as well. So rate limit in this plan, let's say I'm keeping at it as 100 and let's say per hour. And here I can keep the, any price, some sample price, let's say uh, 100, uh, sorry, let's say $30 per $30. And let's say if I save the changes, now you can see that uh, there are two options, basic and pro. And now my plans are set. The same way I can set the third plan as well. Let's say in this plan, I give my users to 200 uh, requests per hour. And let's say my price for this is $50. And you can just save it. And you can see that uh, we have three plans for our API. And now we can uh, now we are done with it. Now what we can do is you can see that now me, my QR code API is live and it it is available for the users. User can go and check check it out. And when any, any user will be using my API, I'll be paid as per the plan they will subscribe. So that's all for this video, guys. Stay tuned for more such videos. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Thanks for watching.